get into it. It is our first map. It's Mirage. And let's see what it has in store. CIS versus Poland. And we are into our pistol. Looks like we're going to be seeing a pretty much a pure CT pistol buy. Quite not the same to be said. Now, I'm intrigued by the decoys, Chadney. You might get excited about this. Fake flashes over to B, a, a double pump, if you will. I don't know. I don't really know what they plan to achieve with these Ooh. decoys. The fact that Ferland's leading with it, probably not the case. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Oscar to flash him in. It's contact the whole way. Yeah, and now they're in already. This looks very promising. If they can get that bomb down, Simple trying to contest. Groovy should have hit the shot. No one's hitting anything right now. Just a goosh into Perfecto. Simple does draw blood. Groovy, got time to play with his teddy. And they're so ready to duel. More headshots delivered. This time keeping it level is MHL. Traded back. Flamey from the kitchen, cooking up trouble. BQ and Oscarish need more. Pimes on their side. They need to keep flaming with that kit off the bomb, but Perfecto with low HP has thrived, and now poor old Oscarish, 69 points of health, looking to get that one shot. They're on the bomb. Flamey's defusing, and he's had to ignore it. A good shot in the final moments, but it's not going to translate into anything substantial. And the decoys uh, translated to absolutely nothing because Perfecto had one, and then Flamey has picked up the other, and Perfecto threw his away. That's how useful I believe they are, unless you're going to use them in the way that you were uh, Detailing there, Alex. If you use it as a fake, you know, you throw it in the air, you want to bait out some utility or force the rotation because of the sound cues of it landing and hitting, not even the noise that it makes with the clock. Just honestly, the fact that you want it to be hitting the ground and making it look like it could have been a smoke, it could have been a flash. It's always curious when teams go for the decoy. I used to have many a conversation with my players back in the day about it. But it is the Galils and the AK-47 out and about on round number two as towards a ramp and it'll be dunked on in. Fiku taking... A bit of damage, but nothing else to really be writing home about here. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, keeping it simple, but missing a little bit of that utility oh. cross allows electronics simple. Already to chime in. Bond's gone loose. Only two for the T's are looking a little worse for wear. And these fights, these are these are rifles that they're winning against with these SMGs. Yeah. It's not out of the realms it is now. Simple, quick to confirm. And that should be an AK scavenge. And maybe even the Galil, well, they, they can get, get it. it. Couldn't get there. Wow. A little too slow. Loose laces. Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world because Ego will have to take the save right now. So now we have a chance to farm on up with that SMG in the hands of Electronic Perfecto. And Simple, they're happy to carry those through. Flamey buying into an MP9 as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Boomich do the same. He loves that little bad boy. Actually, he was dropped that. So never mind. Two Famuses, an M4. And the two MP9s here. Now, this is going to be a not a lot round, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Nothing should be happening. Can we, get, can we get creative with the not a lot rounds? Yeah, sure. I mean, not you should call round. it an eco round. Uh, woo! Not an eco for Groovy. His Deagle does something simple. Does more than that. Oh, Double oh. kill on the underpass. Furland just warming up his feet. Was a bit chilly in the palace. AC's on high. Groovy down low. And that's the end of that one. Oscarish can't really do too much more. Would you guys like to play some Counter-Strike this evening? Chad's actually uh, down for it. What you, what, have you got to go to the gym first? I was, I was planning to play a bit of Daisy because the update's just coming. We're exercising first, so that's like at least an hour window for some Daisy. That's not, not enough, much, is it? It's not much. Should just um, be, should be running through bloody Cherno at that point. Cherno, uh, dropping we're, into Badonski. Look, we've got, a, we've got our clan. Uh, yeah. Called the Novi Knights. Novi Knights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Hello. Well, hello. Hi, hello. everybody. Um, but the thing is, we, we like to be really BM. All oh. of us are admins on the service. We're the nice people, oh, we yeah. but we got the fake nicks on. Oh, uh, so there. you're being little clowns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just, you know, giving a bit them? of oh, a bit of nonsense. Bit of Jay's nonsense not playing, here and there. you know. Don't Jay you? is playing. He's back. back. Yeah, Jay's back. Maybe Jay will play some counter. Rush. Don't you steal him? Rush. Get you away. Know, Can we get Jay to play some I would counter? I love to send the message. No, 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 no. He won't. He won't. I'm on it. Gondor calls for aid. I hate us so much. So proud of you. Now, as you can see, everybody, there is a bit of a timeout. So uh, we'll be getting the game back underway as soon as we can. Someone's out uh, of their chair. I've solved the mystery, Chad. Perfecto's gone. <laughs> it's Perfecto. <laughs> oh, hello, Fiku. What's going on? Fresh face, Fiku. 17 years of age. Do you remember when you were 17, Alex? God, I was just rife with social anxiety and... That's about it. What's you changed? had good hair at 17. I did. Though. It was quite cute. It was, it was very fluffy. Very bouffant, and... as my yeah, mother would describe it. Bouffant. 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 
Yeah, you got the whiteboard there. Let's look at the strats. Hang on. Uh, square, so square, that's into a full, square. That's kill obviously Mirage. Everyone. You can see. That's the yeah, full yeah. Mirage layout, obviously. Oh, that a little is, little like, oh I like the trophy oh, the whole scenarios. The HQ over there. It's fair. Whoopi Gum. Whoa, these sponsors. He's MHL. He's having a good time. I like his I like curtains. the light fitting there. This is nice. This looks quite the nice setup. Look at the logo in the background. I like the, the desk as well. Yeah, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> and oh. Oh. And uh, Don't show the Discord now oh, oh, all the sneaky secrets. Let's keep going through it. What, what other cameras do we have to look at? Well, I like this. This is cam. fun to me. You can the see Boomage his cam. hand position. I like Boomage's position. It's always right next to his oh, movement this keys. Does, this I does like remind me of fingers. like, you know when fans are like, hey, can I get a, a picture with you? And they do the under the chin shot. I'm like, please. I love them. Out. How? No, no, you don't. No one Did likes you see the thread the on Reddit? The, they, these ones always, uh, there's been a couple of these in recent weeks. Right. There's um, people going on there trying to, to do like birthday presents or gifts for their significant other. And there's another right. one on there yesterday about a, a girl looking for something oh, for her Oh, it's on the partner. CSGO subreddit. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't actually read it in the end. And I end up reading it and I'm like, oh, it's so cute and we're so all nice. Trying. And they, they care about the other person and they're yeah. trying. Yeah, and their interests. That's yeah, sweet. that must feel nice. I wonder what that feels like. Well, Chad, there is so much left to your life. You'll be all right, mate. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Do you reckon those things, the, the Navi like placemats on the floor are there to stop the chairs ruining the floor? Well, if they've, if they've rented nice. the house, it's a You don't want to mess it up, yeah. do you? We have them in the hotel to keep, oh, the, wood, to keep the wooden floors uh, good line. Oh, yeah. lovely. We're back into it. 3-0 Navi. Honestly, looking very confident. It feels like they're running through them right now, and you're going to have to tame the beast. And we'll see if the Polish squad can do so. Already three facing towards middle. Simple is feeling it. Out towards connector, hearing the pitter-patter of Polish He's feet. Bit of trouble. That's a bit of danger started, though. Yeah, and MHL, the danger man, or the danger potential prodigy of the future, one to watch as per HLTV.org. And let's see. And Boomich in electronic equalizer. It doesn't look like it. Now there's pressure from connector. They're in a, a, a bit of trouble here. Yeah, that trouble is really mounting now. They were isolated, surrounded, and the crunch has worked extremely well. Now, bear in mind, the buy is still kind of, you know, Echoing those previous rounds, but Flamey's been surprisingly extraordinarily <laughs> diligent with even just this gun by his side. So high flash to follow, and he might just have a go on it. Nothing too fancy. MHL does have the cross, so all is well in the Polish camp. Yeah, no, no. Peep out of perfecto. He is just going to stick around. You can understand why. Just hoping to make sure that he can make it as costly as he can for the tease upon exit. MHL's already going for the round the world. They'll be exiting through the ramp. So Perfecto seems to be quite happy. Here's the frag he was hoping for and great control. I'll be able to try and get away now, but MHL likely going to be able to confirm and sign his death warrant. Four HP, does he blow up? Boom! Yes, all right. he does. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. I think when you look at Perfecto's money, he can buy himself. Electronic could drop an AWP over towards Simple if they want to go for another buy. Uh, this might just be a classic Na'Vi buy round where they'll just have a few SMGs sprinkled in with the rifles that they can't afford and try something to, I guess, destabilize the Ego attack. I, more oh, I'm already starting to support them. God damn my British blood. Oh, you like the, the underdogs. underdogs? Just underdogs working hard, boot camping, overcoming the odds. Like They, they love oh, it after one round. They're, like, up, yeah, they're fist bumping. Go. That drop did come in. So Simple has the AWP from Electronic. He's gone down to the MP9. So Simple needs to find some impact this round. Last round, he didn't even really get to fire a shot. MHL was dealing with him with ease towards middle over the top of the smoke here. And this is the way that Na'Vi are able to make oh. the pistols and the low buys work. They posture forward. They know how to get the most out of it. And this position from Boomich is so prime for a CZ. You can see this is a duel that favors him. And well, Groovy with the M4, or rather the Galil, does connect. Simple's wild shot through the smoke. Neither connecting. He did have a good shot towards Furlan's location. Bomb down courtesy of Fiku on the... Outside side of default. Good connection in the meantime. They are regrouping. A flash from Simple will set them up. MHL likely going to be safe from that, so we can pull the trigger. Oh, nice. That's Flamey gone. Three on four for the retake. He's really ambitious. Oh. He wants more. He does eventually give Simple what he wants. A kit. Oh, dear. Oh, I quite like this from Fiku as well. Just going to slide into a bit of a more tricky position to at least contain Perfecto. They won't expect him on the site. Find Simple. Nice. Oh, the spin around. Gorgeous work. And yep, there, there's that British, you know, ability of just liking underdogs. Just can't help it. Let's go, Navi. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Simple. 
Let's go, ATO. Let's take your underdog story. He's done biased casters. I'm sick of it. Take your underdog story and you can take it down the shop, all right? Yeah, all right. Look, I hear enough about him in Counter Strike. But this is the round. Cornetto. Cornetto. I want Solero. Um, get me a Solero. So this will be a save round here, ladies and gentlemen, coming in from the side of Navi, as they do not have enough funds to purchase the weapons required to go for a gun round. After this round is... Uh, oh, yeah, fair just... dinkum. Sorry, are we doing... Or reversal? <laughs> yeah, what is okay, well, Fair dinkum. All right, all right. All right. Oh, I, can, I, I really can't oh, do that. Oh, yeah, no, the body. Ooh, yeah, you go. <laughs> What's that one? I don't know. <laughs> we mentioned electronic, just the pistols. Shouldn't be anything worth reporting here, and, yeah. Nice. But I, I, I hope they keep these clean. I mean, if, if anything, at, at the very least, confidence boosting and also, you know... I think the they're leaving that gap intentionally. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, when you miss your shot. Yeah, you have to pick nice. one of the two gaps there, Alex. So that one that you're talking about, right, with that smoke towards yeah. CT, your two options are have the smoke so it covers off and they can't see underneath, or have it so it does uh, the smoke shrouds more the jump to up, the box. it's awkward, exactly, yes. Okay. Right? So the option is if you want to make sure the box is covered off, you have to leave the gap towards the, the lower side of things. If you want to cover the gap towards the lower side of things, then they jump up on the box as possible, which is more annoying. I think knowing that they have to be in the same position to look under the smoke is probably safer. You get to pre-aim. Yep. Uh, you can either you can also go around it. Yes. You don't have to worry about it. With the jump up, you don't know the timing, and that's going to be a little bit more janky. I always feel like, I mean, it's always kind of baffled me how effective that jump up over the smoke is, considering it's so known. Yeah. But it is just to do with how obscured your vision that your vision of the target is. Um, yeah, the smokes in Counter-Strike, it's definitely uh, favorable. You can see how little you can see over the flames as well. Flaming would have had a much clearer POV over the, uh, for lack of a better word, incandescence of the flame. Shout out to Henry Greer. In the arms of the angel. Leave you to the high note. Third round for each, so we are right down the middle into our seventh. Another Navi buy without all the goodies. Kibble's going to get boosted on up, or he's sending Flamey there. Is Oscar okay. pushing this? Yeah, he is. He's Very so quick. fast. Nice. Goodness me. Oh. I won't be expecting that one. That's a surprise. And he's going to get both. Nice play from Simple. Doubles up. They could try and make a gap into B. Flamey and Perfecta to be tested, but Groovy just presents his back. Oh. Finally, Fiku fills the feed. Need another here. Flamey clean on to the first. They really have no issues with these FAMAS at the moment, Na'Vi. Some good fragging on that weapon. It's time to see if MHL can demonstrate his abilities here in the seventh round of play. Playing around the smoke. Going to keep his eye pressed to the scope. Doesn't need to give them any extra sound cues as to where they may be located. I don't know how he gets one out of this. So he has the bomb, so there is a... It's in the barrel, they know oh, where he yeah. is. Okay, oh, no. this gets awkward now. Nades, he's so paranoid about everything from the apartments. Flamey's not all light visible. Gosh, okay, so by taking his eye off the scope, this is going to get awkward now. He has to quick scope just to keep this close quarter fight under oh. lock and key. Paranoia's mounting. He's got to take one fight here. There it is. <laughs> Gone, done. There, there wasn't many good options. That was great from, from Na'Vi, not giving up any way for him to get a pick into that round. You can just see how awkward it is. He was like, oh, well, come and fight me. I'm ready. I'll take it. But no, if you don't give him the fight, force him into a position just like we saw towards the end there where he gets caught in transition, uh, it can be pretty rough. But this is great work from Simple here. And then Perfecto did a great job as well just to slow them down coming out of the B apartment so the rotation could get into place. Uh, we're seeing different faces from Ago here early. That was a, a fast B split. The AKs will be back out. MHL affording the AWP once again. Going for the... Oh, he's missed it. He's, he's leapfrogged. That's my teammate. He was uh, a little bit too ambitious with that jump. Now, finally, Na'Vi have all the goodies. Diffuse kits in play as well here. Simple back on the AWP. And oh, it looks like we will be just going for a pick on towards the A side. So a heads-up duel between Simple and MHL. There's surely going to be a flash for this peak. bad flash. Oh. There it is. Oh, he tags him through the corner. Boomich fragging, MHL re-peeking into simple to convert. That is ambitious. And he's waiting for electronic. Little wise to this one. They want to be throwing out the nades just to bait him in. Boomich fragging. That was his chance. Electronic just jiggles for the info. Bombs loose at T-spawn. And Furland finally reveals his plans, but Flamey quick to spoil them. Boomich is so low. MHL makes the right choice to upgrade to the AK. It is an upgrade in a 2v3. There's a wild. It's flamey in jungle? Yeah. Yeah. That's good to be able to isolate him without being traded on. That's perfect. Flamey was just about in position for it. But now the smoke goes up. So, chill. 
I'll scrape the wall trying to make... Oh. Uh? What? Was that just a straight up through smoke jobby? Okay, well, Perfecto and Oscar is in the 1v1. Bomb fully planted. Perfecto very aware of where this should be. Oh. Nicely played. Nice Great shot. shooting. Real nice. He's going to scavenge the uh, AWP as well. That's going to put them in good stead. You can see quite the opposite for Na'Vi, Chadney. Down to 3.4 on simple at the highest. 4.3 for Boomich. Yes, indeed. I I'm curious a little bit there at the start of the round uh, with the Fiku MHL pick onto simple. If if we had Fiku throwing a bad flash and then a good flash, because you're hearing the pros talk I about did. it more than we have in there for interviews, and they're saying, well, now you just have to throw a bad flash so that when you throw the good flash, then you know not going to turn away in the same way. It's trying to catch them out, and that seems to us what happened over towards a ramp. And uh, round number eight and Ego are keeping this one very competitive in the early stages. They just need to make sure they can convert against this type of a round. So it's right. just a couple of upgraded pistols, but you don't want to be losing anything. You don't want these to get messy because at that point they could start tilting and unraveling. And at the moment, it's good evidence to suggest that they can do so. They were pa partnered up. You could see Furlan, Fiku and Underpass. Oscar with a partner in crime and MHL. Groovy now joining Furlan. Everybody's got a trading partner once contact starts to occur. The uh, exception to the rule is Fiku, but he's been set up and guided there by his squad. So now he'll just be the late lurk mid to cut off that rotate once they do head towards the short pincer into B. With Flamey so pushed up in Palace, though, and with lots of utility up short, they are probably going to start moving their CT pieces over towards the B site. That is not unheard of and certainly not going to be unexpected from XCOM. Oh, God damn it. There you go. Let's just put their sponsor first. That makes perfect sense. Okay, spotting, I think, at least two on short. I'll see more. The patience on the first, even then pops on the second. That's the bomb now loose. This actually becomes a bit ah! of an issue. As Simple can really be on patrol if the others can even get one kill out. Oh, that's perfect. All right, game on now. Look at the big flank from Flamey here as well. So by the time they grab the bomb, they're going to think apartments is clear. Flamey might have a window of time to jump on in. There's an AK up there too. He can recover that. Does he have armor? Yeah, he does. So he's going to be armored up. AK. If he gets far enough. Keep in mind, Boomich, no armor, just the P250. He's gonna jump up. I've seen him. Oh, the damage. Flight. Oh. oh, what a shot. Just a slight misstep. Oh, damn. And Oscar's only got 22 HP. He needs to clutch this. And he already finds the first. Glimmer of the second. Kits on the apartment player. Boomich, though, just with the P250, trying to play the angles. And well played again. Oscarish. Margin for error removed. And he manages to keep his head above water. But Chad, you said this, these are the rounds that will test them. They get through by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, they were pushed, definitely pushed there. Simple could have uh, done a little bit more, it felt like. Didn't necessarily have to commit for that earlier duel, but Fika did a fantastic job to trade him out before he could get away. So these are the two here that kicked things off. Saying Simple could have done more. He already had two kills. You know, yeah. how much more does the man need? And then Oscarish, well, on the low HP, Boomage couldn't get it done. The P250 not potent enough. And Fika, you can see, he's happy with that one. Okay. Big smile on the face there as they did survive and post five onto the board. We'll be calling a tactical timeout, and that's probably good. You know, talking through, okay, yeah, that was close, but it's fine. We still won the round. Let's work out our buy. Everybody calm down. Don't let any negative emotions potentially get carried on across. And, well, here's the scores on the doors for you so far. Simple, 12 kills to his name. On the other side of things, it's Fiku up there with 10. And uh, as we trickle on down, you can see down the bottom for each squad, electronic boomage, four kills apiece. And Furlan just with one to his name. So that's the bookends right now as far as the frag charts are going. Lauren, how does that make you feel? I'm uh, really excited that, you know, Argo are doing so well early on. Yeah, it was against pistols and armor, but it's more what the kind of mental break does, right? It's if, if they can keep taking it, even if it does get, you know, so close, they can keep coming up with the goods. Five to four is, is a pretty respectable scoreline. It does feel as though we're waiting for the break to come in. We're waiting for it to go a little bit wrong, but... So sorry, can you go to Boomage for me, Rush? Where is he? He's only got a P2K, so uh, we're in a little bit of trouble here for us old Boomich, isn't he? Electronic, well, he's in a world of hurt, so this isn't starting well. It's all right, we've got simple on bailout duty. It'll be all right. Uh, I think Alex has oh, done his... Oh, the is back done. in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so uh, it's just going to be Lauren, Pansy, Scott and myself to take you through round number 10. Well... See if we can get these technical issues sorted as soon as possible. <laughs> Boomich, let's see what we got here. Just the P2K. I mean, Alex is a fan. And Perfecto doing well. This is oh, uh, easy back. ridiculous to, to do this. I'm I think here. you're back, Alex. Noises. Yeah, you're back. 
No, good. so the, I've worked out what it is. Okay. You know, I was yeah. eating my banana just then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was holding down my cough button. Yep. And then I think if I hold it down for long enough, like the audio version of Sticky Keys occurs. Ah. And now I just sound, like in my ears, you both sound drunk. Like it's alternating between my left and my right ear constantly. Okay. I've been off Volume the changes. for a while, Alex. It's very odd. It's very peculiar. I'm, I'm going to go okay, disappear for a second. Audio man is here to save my the day. My superhero, my knight in shining armor is here. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, you have fun and we'll try and do the same because Simple and Co were able to put one yeah. in the back pocket there. And he's actually going to the org now. So we've seen that a lot on Nuke from Simple, and it's good stuff. It is the Force Buy from XCOM. They've gone with the Tech 9s, P250s, and Utility. Now, the early nades that we're seeing here is just to bait out the CT-sided nades, the early nades, the smoke, the Molotov, just the stop nades, as we could call them. And then as soon as they're ready to go, which is now, I might catch them off guard. Oof, Oscar giving himself for the cause. Simple, dinked up, forced away a touch. Plays in perfecto, though. Nicely oh, handled. Okay. This is really Audio good is. so far. So, as it stands, not too much damage done apart from that moment right there. And I mean, Hello. Hello, mate. Oh, doing? fantastic. It looks oh, like we've got to go, on. and so was Groovy. <laughs> there, was, there was a little bit of drama there, wasn't there? Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm just not gonna, ever going to cough again. No coughing. No coughing? Oh, well, that's all right. I'm fine with that. That's probably a good thing, considering the current situation we have globally. Mm. Uh, a Rona coaster? Yeah. So as long as you never Rona. cough again, everyone will be safe. Mm. And oh, there's so many fans that's today. A lot of fans. Hello, everybody. It's nice Hi. to see you. Nice to put a face to the name in the chat. Well, there's a simple jersey down there in the bottom right. A member of the uh, Swedish White Cross. What's that? It's, a, it's, a, it's their flag, but oh. the Red oh. Cross is often ah. uh, medical. No, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. I thought it was like a, maybe it was like a, a group me of being people. being stupid with words because there's nothing else to entertain myself during an eco. Well, we could talk about, about the um, game, Alex. Sorry, um, we yes. Talk about Respect the players. Why do you hate them? No, but no, hold on. We didn't land on if we're going to play matchmaking tonight. Um, Lauren's flaking. It's actually kind of strange because she's usually in the kind of the keen camp, but yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I um, so definitely Henry will be available. Yeah, oh, look, uh, if Henry is that's Rush, a strong Rush will Rush will play. Rush, Henry. Rush, do you want to play? Lauren, Alex. Yeah, yeah, I'll play. I'm down. Okay, so yeah. Rush will play. So Lauren doesn't so want to play. So when I'm not playing... We've we'll got a, we'll a different fifth that's Rush. not Lauren. She didn't even reply to me, Chad. I messaged her saying gaming. Yeah, I did. Uh, 11 o'clock. Really, I'm oh. sorry. Didn't reply. Wow. Sorry. That was my bad. I was, on I was, red. I was very on much red. Yeah, on red. Blue ticked me, Chad. Oh. Okay, okay. This is oh. some nonsense. What's happening I'm always here? Around oh, that's a look CT at that smoke. little one way. Oh. CT smoke, simple. You cheeky rascal. No one up top made I mean, no, but it's cool. Maybe you do it next round. Look at this, he's shrouded as well from the yeah. underpass position. Oh, but it can happen that you do slip off. Nothing too concerning as Furlan and Fiku do eventually arrive, actually, just as he's departed. And they'll be deploying their usual mid control, so smoke connector. Pulls out the nade onto Furlan's dome, down to 78, but round 13. If AGO can keep this as close as so far, we are in, we've got a solid half on our way. It has been three consecutive Na'Vi rounds, though, and that incendiary Ooh. looks poised for success. Oh, the pop flash through the smoke. That's going to take some space. That's going to be a first for Furlan. Electronic does well to find one, but simple shut down, neutralized by Groovy from the palace position. It's perfecto. It's flamey, and it's a two on three. Doesn't favor them, especially with an MP9 equipped. It's not going to be ideal, not the range he would be. Oh, he's going to flash in for the fight. Kind of cool. Bit too early. Doesn't have the chance to clear the close. Oh, but through the smoke, that's oh, not bad. Go. He's tagged him up. Oscarish down low, finished off by Flamey. And now, oh, is it 2v2 high flash? Ruby fine. Nade comes in. That could oh, be nice. Know. That's going to soften him up. He even gets perfecto. Couldn't ask for more. His MHL can just sit and basically hold the cross, make it tough oh. work. Maybe not so basic. Well, it's Flamey on the other side. And now time is of the essence, and Flamey knows it. He's got to try and It'll make something happen. This could be big. That could find him. Groovy dodges nicely. Oh, oh Flamey. Oh, wow. Absolutely manhandling <laughs> that retake. I really hope we can see <laughs> that last kill again. I don't know how don't possible that is. Yeah, but like he's, I, he, I don't know when his accuracy returned, when whether there was like falling element just... of luck there. Yeah, he, he definitely managed to find the spray off the step. Goodness me. Let's see this one again. This is nice. Great shot into MHL. And then you can see a mantle. And then just... Okay, so he was pulling the trigger just before he started his descent. But yeah, that's a beautiful little clutch quad kill. Time to hydrate. We're starting to see some good uh, consistency out of Flamey. It was worrisome for a while that his performances would be up and down. But in the last few that we've watched, he's starting to look good. And well, Ego, they're accelerating, eh? Yeah, they really are. The flash from Boomer should set him up for at least one, maybe even two. Farland says no. Electronic ready to contribute. 
A three on four, very quick, straight out of the gate, and that was a hard fight to win. Electronic does it anyway. Only two members remaining for the Polish squad. Bomb loose, he's currently laden with flame. Simple's caught his teammates, so now, yeah, this is the end for Groovy. A nine to five scoreline, very close to the wire. Of course, Flamey's clutch stopping AGO from running away with this. And that's five now in a row to close out their CT half. It's exactly what Na'Vi needed. That was a really cool cool little execute there from Akeel. Jeez, I'm like back in Australia. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was a really nice execute because what they did was they smoked deeper on the stairs there. You could see him mantled up on top with the able to fight over to what's Jungle. Well, it, normally the smoke would be on top of those stairs. What you do is by putting it on the stair position, if the CTs want to push on through, they'll be coming out of a gray screen. So I thought that was a nice little uh, change up, mix up. It didn't really result in too much. And it looks like we will be heading back over towards the B bomb site here. Yeah, some fast smokes, dude. This is the kind of T side I can get behind. And none of this spirit malarkey. Looks like a fake. So the bomb's still top mid, two through the underpass, one dealing with the palace push and a missed smoke. So great find there. And same for Fiku, taking down Boomich, pushing for information. So that gives the, the knowledge that it isn't going to be a full on set piece towards B. Electronic able to convert onto Furland, so 4v4. Yeah, not out of the woods yet, but with no utility other than MHL smoke, it's gonna have to be uh, a little more bare bones than normal. As well as he positioning himself for Palace, the walk up, Iku late ramp, Oscar to fake as best he can over towards this B side. He's making the steps, that's important. It has drawn Flamey into for the setup. In an ideal world, he makes contact first, ideally a frag. Simple's already backing them up at B. This has worked out wonderfully for them. Who's the only one on eight? Oh gosh, it's electronic too. So low HP as well. This is gonna be really quite tricky to hold. There comes the kind of sell on the fake. Oscar's out, does go down. Right, you've got to kind of pick up the pace here. Otherwise those CT players are gonna flood right back on through, but you're ahead of the curve apart from electronic. Still present, but staying quiet. Maybe be able to hold a bit of map territory here towards the A site. And Simple finds MHL. Groovy, one on four situation now. Got a little in hand. He's going to oh. fall. That's going to be it. The score will as the defuse comes on in. Won't be any dramas, will it, Lauren? 10 to 5 for Na'Vi. Yeah, all looking good to go on the half here. Na'Vi keeping things together, keeping things back on track. But Argo, well, they picked up a few. We'll see if they can pick up some more after the break.
to even surrender Would you give up your rights and let your life slide away? to five was the scores on the doors at the half. Na'Vi do sit postured in a very good position. Of course, we've seen them recover after a little bit of a back and forth with Ago Argo Ego. That's what I like to call them. <laughs> What's the names? Yeah, absolutely. It's good to be back with you guys. Looks like Electronics got a fresh bouquet of flowers permeating the air with a floral breeze of uh, deliciousness. What's your favorite flower, Alex? Uh, personally, I'm a, a large fan of the cliche rose. I think okay. they're very aesthetically pleasing. Not a pansy, I hear. Uh, pansies uh. are all right. <laughs> Daisies are all right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a quick play a poppy. towards A. Boomich has a smoke and a flash. Simple has his patented P250. Seems he gets all the goodies on the pistol rounds as Simple. He'll be coming through the palace position. Takes some fights towards jungle and CT. Groovy, what an opening. Rawr. Love that. Snappy. Yeah. Bombs down, though, uncontested. I'm not going to write them out of this retake. They've got everything they need. Furlan, look at his. He's got the perfect defuse retake setup. So he is going to be the VIP they need to protect and set up for success. Vico and MHL pinstering in from the connector. Are you ready for a five versus four in 30 seconds? I'm right about on it. Here we go, Simple, though, making it look so good, so clean, so easy. And every single time, there's a reason they give him <laughs> the P250. How many kills? Four kills. <laughs> well, there's a justification for the purchase. It only has to happen once, and then every time you ask for the P250, you get it again. Was he the player that did it on train as well yep. the other day? Yep. yep. So, And then on the CT sides on certain maps, they give him the CZ75. <laughs> Look, it makes sense. And uh, you asked me the question before, and I couldn't give you an answer. Would Na'Vi be better if they bought like Astralis? I think everybody would be better if they played like Astralis. I don't know if it would work for the constellation of players we have in Na'Vi. Uh, because when Simple is the best player in the world, still, look, I know last year he didn't win the number one, but in my mind, no one's ever been able to do what he can do. But, but Chad, we've seen for so long them trying to play around a star players. And we know, know that that... that it means it's great. It means they can 16-5 in AGO, but then it means on a different day versus an Astralis, they don't get away with the same choices, and then their bad habits are plaguing them against tier one opposition. You're right. You you, you bang on. I, I can't even argue with that even a little bit. But oh, that's rare. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I like Ooh. I like it. I just minutes. like it for some reason. I don't know why. But well, I mean, it is it is kind of you know UFC like. We've got very fighters of different styles. Their style is. Simple go kill, and it's not always <laughs> that. Of course, electronic now eliminated, but it does have ramifications throughout their, the the meta game and throughout their macroeconomics of Counter Strike as well. It helps when Flamey's having a good game as well, though. Look, 18 kills to his name. If Electronic was having a banger, look, was yeah. already, it's already 11-5. So I'm not too sure how much better they could be doing at this stage of the game. But it can't just be a one-man show. It can't be a two-man show. They definitely need a little bit more than that. And speaking of more. Boomage wants something more. Unable to tag him up too much. The Deagles are still worrisome over towards window. This one here is not clean for Na'Vi. This is going to get messy. Where can these kills come from now? MHL does have a scout. I quite like the push, to push towards Ram. That's the bomb down there. Let's see if he best perfect. Oh, he does. Okay, big issues now for Na'Vi. Five seconds. Yeah, time's run out. That bomb's... I, I guess it's recoverable, but it's not going to be an easy recovery. MHL baited on the shot. Potentially lose out there. Just right, okay. Seconds. Where is that bomb? It's still not been recovered yet. So, you're right. Time is of the essence. Ten now, and here we go. Oh, they've got the bomb back. But five seconds. Oh, no time. <sighs> and the round is over. Wow, there's a, there's a nasty way to go. Furlan clutching it out with only a pistol and no armor on the other side of the map. Six for AGO. Now, this was their map pick. You can see in the top right, if ever you're questioning, that is where you'll get that information at the start of every round. Fiku started it off with a banging deagle shot, just a little counter strafe and a pixel gap. That's a big start. Round of applause from the AGO fan there on the left. And we get into our 18th round. This is just the start of the second half. It's certainly not out of the realms of possibility that AGO can run away with something, but there's three AKs, as you saw. You know how, they, how, how this happened. 
I'm really enjoying that the org is getting more action. Like, players have had time now during the player break to just smash some dirty aimbots hours on it, get comfortable with it. And now they're in a position where they can actually see power. Like, look at this. I would rather hold middle against simple and an AK with a scope. But as MHL finished off by the Navi 3 punch. I like seeing it being situationally viable. Yes. I think that's the place it should be in. I think that's a really nice feature for sure. So still looking for the kind of final punch here from Navi. Where do they want to end up? If it's A, they've got a couple of players still to get past. Groovy just spamming away towards connector, but bomb still top mid. It's not really heavily leaning anywhere. An A finish would be nice. They have one smoke on simple. They can use that over towards the CT position, a flash over, and they can go on contact. So that looks like the area of the map they want to be congregating over towards. You can see they're coming through spawn. Flamey's been set up in the palace position the entire time. You can hear any rotations going on for the A site. If anybody's moving around, jumping on boxes, rotating on over. And it looks like it's a gamble stack. So XCOM, Ago are making the right call here. They're going to have three on the site and one in tow over towards window. This isn't going to be easy for Na'Vi. Far from it. Flamey, let's not forget he's been really sharp today. So that palace position could be instrumental. Jump peak confirms. It is the A, Furland getting on the right side of that smoke to contest for the crossfire. Groovy will peek on contact. Bomb not down. Boomich needs to get that bomb down soon. Back turn. Now bomb loose. He needs two. Gets it as well. Simple's on two. Groovy with a quick triple. Confirming the round. Perfecto twiddling with his thumbs. Faffing around with his pistol. Got nothing out of this one. And that is another AGO round. They can kill him after time here. This is bad. This is real bad. He's going to get them both. No. Down after time and sent to the depths of hell with $400 in his back pocket. Yeah, so the reason you hear me banging on saying it's bad is because in the T side, ladies and gentlemen, if you die after the time, you only keep the residual cash you had in the back pocket, and that for Perfecto was $400. It actually came 300 of the kill he just made. And if anyone's logically trying to work, you know, understand it, trying to make, make sense of it, it makes a lot of sense because otherwise t it might be in T's favors to just save a lot. Precisely. Uh, so if you're wondering what's going on there, that is the justification. That is how the game plays so beautifully. Yeah, the T's are the initiators, right? So the onus is on them to attack the site and get the bomb down. The CT's, they have to defend and, well, they need to be able to punish you in a way. And right now, getting punished on RV on this eco. Looks like everything will be stripped away from them. Not too many dramas whatsoever. And here's the big man. He's got the deagle. It's beautiful. It does look like the film tweaks, Lauren. Oh. Those weird, you know, loser film tweaks. But it looks, it looks cute here. I like the, it does, it does, you know, it does. It does. X on it. Very aesthetic. X gone. Give it to you. Simple. Might as well. 27 frags. It's actually obscene, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just a catch standard day in the office here. <laughs> the casters keep hyping up simple hitting deagles. Like, not ridiculous. I really like him uh, as a player. I think that simple as somebody with a story behind, you know, where he started, what he went through, the way that he was humbled as an individual. Then you look at him now in the interview, he's always giving us that team element, but you know that there's the fire under there. You know that it still sure. exists. You know that that passion and that drive for the game is always going to be the number one thing in his life. Well, maybe not in his life. You don't know. His life I mean, right now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a fun prospect to see someone truly being the exception to the rule, right? Like, he is so good, nothing can particularly be applied against him in every manner. It's, it's sure. a really interesting concept, but money-wise, it weird on both sides. Yeah, and, and this is just Na'Vi's way of going for these more aggressive purchases. It means that they never really will have the full buy, but if we talk about the weapons, electronic and simple, not the guns in the game, they have the big guns in this round. And that's what you want. We're talking about them, the spearhead of the attack. So you're expecting them to find an opening, or at least find a gap, and set up some of the other individuals in Na'Vi to find some kills as well. So they're limping out onto the A site right now, trying to isolate some jewels. Amy can't get anything done other than a dink. Fiku goes down, traded out by Electronic. So now the AKs come online. Yeah, that's important. Electronic finding that frag is a crucial component of this play. Now, through the smoke, oh, MHL oh, the just passing like ships in the night. Puts another AK ready to fight in Boomich's hands. Bomb down from Simple. Not yet, and forced off it by the peak. Groovy from that CT area. Nets closing in a little here. They, they need a couple of these kills to come in soon. Good That's going to really help out. That opens up half the map so the plant can come in. Oh. And now Oscar. Oh. There's no good choice to be made here, is there, really? 
There it is. So the AK is in the hands of Electronic and Simple. Simple gets the last one, but Electronic had two good kills based off of the space that was made by his players who had the lesser weaponry, right? Flemmy making it out to Tetris, giving a chance for Electronic to swing out and get a kill. And that's what we're talking about. They're using, look, it's, it's not the way that, okay, we all have the guns, we all have our jobs. If we all get a kill, we win the round, right? It's no, we have a clear objective. We'll set up the players who have the weapons to frag on out and the ability to do so. And then when we close and we break the money and we put Ago in a position where it's like, ah, uh, we probably have to save right now, but hold up a second. It will be the buy across the board. So Fiku will be the only individual who won't have a gun. Groovy's already purchased into the M4A1S. You're going to see Ferlin, Oscarish, and MHL be able to buy. MHL can go for the AWP. 17 for Groovy and Fiku. They've been ticking Amazing. along nicely, Have haven't you, they? Have you seen Fiku's ADR, by the way? It's pretty nutty. He's, He's keeping up. Negative. <laughs> it's, it's actually quite weird to see. Oh, it. 181. Oh. Goodness. Pretty, very impressive. Bob 8, though. By now looking substantially better for Na'Vi, recovering after that, you know, bit of a, I don't say a fumble, but, you know, dying after time and all that jazz was, was a little bit of a problem for the money. But now back in the right place, they get the rifles up, the util up, and on the other side, it's still looking quite anemic when it comes to the purchase, the util. It's, there's, there's not much more to it. Oh, yeah, they'll have to do something aggressive. Um, and you can see they're posturing for something here into Simple's warm embrace. And they do manage to best him. That's going to deny a lot of space to the Na'Vi boys, and they can actually just set up. Is that even a deep smoke? Yes, yeah. it is. Wow, okay, so this is going to really slow down the round. Strap yourselves in for a 20-second Na'Vi finish here. If you could get that rifle back towards one of his teammates, Fiku could really use it, but it's not a priority right now. They're just setting up across the map. Fiku's boosted towards the B site, going to use that to the best of his ability. And Ascarish is kept on notice towards the back of the site. Fiku's boost could have huge play potential here now. Hard to clear. Boom. Goes to get traded by Perfecto. Numbers favoring Ago. And now Electronic continues to tip the scales back in their favor. Still, a three versus two. Flamey to plant. Molotov to buy some time. And doesn't get the shot on the cross. A nice jump from Flamey enabling access to the site. 40 seconds. Ferland working up short late. It will be MHL trying to contain them for now. And they are pausing this. They know that that plant will not be easy. A safe corner plant on the cards here from Flamey, but they want to aggress. Oh. oh, this could be great, but MHL smart. He checked it, they charge in. It's Groovy's job, and it's a nasty one at that. He needs to get one. No, MHL does get found by Flamey, and so Furland to clutch. And Flamey, is he really going for the pivot? Oh, oh, oh he's off. Oh, he's going to be in the line seconds. of sight here. The cross, this is going to be it. If Furland hits it, it's all but done, but Flamey knows, but Furland lands it. My word, we have got a bit of a game on our hands. 12 to 9 now. That was well done by Ego. Especially that flank coming in from Furlan. It locked them in towards the kitchen position once they were spotted for, from MHL. The ability to surprise was taken away. And these lower buys, the forced in purchases from both teams in back to back rounds, have netted success. I he's going to be a bit upset about how that one unfolded. Thought he had his number. Thought he had uh, been able to juke him across the map here. But it will be the forced buy. And Simple has the AK 47 again. We've got some Mac 10s, Tech 9s. The other side of things, the scouts and two MP9. So this is another equal buy. It's not a full buy, but it's a, a pretty equal round. And away we go. Oscar dropping that smoke to play around, and that needs to be a clean one. That was a lot of util squandered. Oscar Ish on the MP9 meets Simple ZK. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble with his scout, and he does get away for a moment. Bomb will be planted in the meantime. And this retake, it's coming in from different angles, all three different points of contact. The fact MHL's fallen so far back is indicative that he won't be providing much more than a flashbang and some sound. Kit on Fiku. Crucial round of play here. 13 to 9 sounds a lot scarier than 12 to 10. Groovy takes a right step in the right direction. Fiku, he could go down oh. here. He has. Electronic hunts them, and that concludes... Another round of play, 13 now for Na'Vi. Three away and putting the CTs back onto the peasant situation. 1,600 at the low end. Wow, it was a very quick find onto the head. Making it look easy to collect that round. 31 now for Simple. Really chugging along here. Starting to find some more impact from Boomich within the second half. He has 11 kills to his name, but he's had a couple of big ones in the last few. And just with the waterfall out window, look at it, isn't it beautiful? Just dropping out one after the other. Very tranquil looking site for any 
eco hunters, any eco cobras out there. This is their dream. They wake up in the morning and they see five CTs jumping out a mid-window and they're very happy. As round 14 is posted on the board, and it looks like this one might be stitching itself up quickly because going into round 24, the side of things from Ago don't have a fantastic buy. They've done more with less. But with the Famuses out, it tends to make you play like more like a regular gun round. Less risks will be taken, less of those cheeky little Fiku boosts on that B-bomb site, for example. They have been enjoying some CT aggression. We've seen a Palace push with two individuals and an A-Ramp push with two individuals. Let's see if they have anything up their sleeve here. Erlan likes how much space he got on that fast push up mid, and the Flash forces Boomich into the open, which he can convert. Big plays, and look how much in. space he wants to deny here, Electronic. <gasps> Catches him, but Farlan equips the rifle in time. That is ridiculous. Just like that, he looked like he was caught out. He had his pants around his ankles and still finds three. Just accelerated. He just went straight on in. That's giving that 110% right there. And flamey and simple, it's going to be difficult to dig themselves out of this hole. How the hell are they going to do this? Good Lord. All right, simple. Show us a little bit of that magic if you want uh, a shot at this one. Flamey is en route, but... That's a start, not too low on HP either. That's another one, but three HP now. Ruby surely got that. Doesn't get caught by the flash tucks in. Keeps himself unspotted. Number now. He jumps up. Oh, he oh. tried. He we did. saw him now. Did they see it? Oh, oh my god, Simple's got three HP and he's got three kills. This was a what, 2v5? It was. Past tense. Surely Simple doesn't get another one. He's so low. Anything could kill him. 35 frags, eight bullets in the mag. Oh, Groovy's going to be real mad if they lose this round. He was in a, such a prime position to frag. Fern with a flash from CT. Makes sense. No one's looking, though. Oh, and Flamey can convert it. Fern on oh, low well. HP. Yeah, here we go. It's one with four, one with three. A fresh mag, no oh, time. He's got to save. save. Simple. Oh. Brings home the 15th. Oh, no. Ferland started that with three kills, and now he's forced to have to save. That is... Oh, that really, really hurts. You would have felt that he's done enough. He saves on one HP from the explosion as well. Just, style points. Just for the extra style points. Let me see this one again. So this is Ferland's spectacular style. You can see it from Electronics POV. He had a bit of time. It's the second I'm amazed at, the adjustment on it. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh, oh dear. Bailed out by the big man. Yeah, legit. <laughs> Legit bailed out. It was supposed to be an aggro round, but simple. No worries. No <laughs> worries at all. Must be nice having simple on your team. Yeah. Must be lovely. Lose three. You're like, all right, simple. You got under 10 HP. Get going. But we do see the mid push again. This time, Fiku's trying it out. Pumich on the other side, though, seems a little bit more aware. Flash comes in. Fiku wins it. Can't convert towards a second. One for one trade out to begin with. It's nice to have him on your team, but. I think I'd struggle with being called a noob when I failed, you know? Stop dying like noobs. I have clutch all the time. Just don't die like a noob. Just don't die like a noob. I was watching his stream the other day. That was his feedback to his team often. Stop <laughs> dying like noobs. It's like, oh, thanks for the feedback, bro. That's really constructive. I'll work on that. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I understand that you see the game in this way, but he not is everyone in does. in the Matrix, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. Absolute He's seeing just brain. green numbers and letters. Stop dying like noob. Ooh. Skrish will be forced out. He's a lot of pressure on this. Oh, okay. I was going to say to contain the push, but now, now it's trouble. Yeah, this looks like the round might end. The map might be concluding here. Only a scout for MHL. He's had a bit of a quiet one as well. Navi proving just a little too much to handle and putting Simple up on that boost. It's a nice off angle to contain. Group is just so late. They don't have kits. Yeah, this one is over. Just a question of whether or not Perfecto gets his fourth kill or if it's Simple is going to take it from him. Here comes Groovy. Loud and proud. And down. 16 to 9, Na'Vi. They take AGO's map pick, and it certainly does look poised.